probably just like a hairline fracture and this is why i don't want you guys getting somebody up and walking on a broken leg or or doing anything when they're been in an accident just made it worse <laughs> All right, some wheelies and before the intersection, no buenos, okay. Went through it, jumped in time. We are all over the place. Oh, somebody crashed. Is that the same intersection? Okay, these jump cuts are confusing the hell out of me. I feel like I'm watching Loki or something. Get up, Craig. Come on, Craig. Come on, Craig. Uh-oh, he can't get up. So we need to be able to rescue a rider. Get us back on the road. Get off your bike. Get up, Day Day. Get up, bro. Dude, he might not be able to. They're just running through each other right here. Ooh. Boogie and bro. Hell. They just both running. Through. Yes, bro. I mean, I didn't. That's all we care about? Get your friend. How the f does that shit even happen? I don't know. I just thought I'm on the ground. Keep your mask on, though, bro. It's a hot day. Your legs straight. Hey. Oh, then you broke. Hey, let's, no, let's, let's, let's lean down right there. Come on. Go over there. Look. How you just run into me? Oh no, man, that's broken. All right, let's just take a look at what happened, kind of the, the situation here. This is definitely a uh, a rescue another rider thing. So we just jumped intersections. This one, what are we doing here? How do we, what? Anyways, we're going through the intersection. So it's a, it's a yellow turn arrow. We're gonna make it, we made it through, okay? We made it through, we came back around. This was the intersection that was the yellow turn arrow. We made it around, we're coming back over this way. That's pretty much what we're doing here. Okay, so now we're kind of oriented. What? He's hurt, so there was a collision between two motorcyclists. So the one, I mean, they all collided. These two collided. This one's able to stand and walk. This guy is still on the ground. All right. So we are coming up. We're going to put ourselves in the shoes. We already know this person did wrong. We, I don't like what happened here. We're coming up. We're coming back around. My concern is him and him. They were in a collision. They're in the middle of a road. They can get hit by another vehicle. My concern is to get them out of safe or into safety, which is going to be where I'm at right now. So I'm going to park my bike, get off my ass, and I'm going to see what I can do. I'm going to try to stop traffic. I'm going to try to do something if they can't get out and rescue themselves. Rescue another rider if they can't rescue themselves. He can't get up. He's telling him to get up. Okay, cool. Let's think of that as an assessment. Hey, buddy, get up. Oh, I can't. Get up. Get up, Craig. Come on, Craig. Okay, yeah. Come on, Craig. Everyone watched Friday. I can't. Now, if you know your friend, if, you, if you've been riding with your friend for a while and you know this person and you know they wouldn't do this kind of bullshit for, for shits and giggles, if you knew that, if they say I can't, I'm going to believe them. That's because I trust, you know, the people I, I hang out with. And they trust me. So if he says I can't, I'm going to yell at this guy, start blocking traffic. Because this person could easily hit him. Block traffic. Damn. So, block traffic. Or at least do an assessment. But it definitely block traffic because I'm getting off my bike. I'm grabbing my rescue kit that we have over at, you know, Motorcycle Training Concepts. You know, we got the rescue kit available right now. Right, uh, Skull? Exactly. I'm going to get off my bike and I'm going to start walking towards him. Making sure this person doesn't hit me. I'm going to double check. I'm going to do a quick assessment. I'm going to ask him, why can't you get up? My leg really hurts. I think it might be broken. Oh, shit. All right, man. Um, let's get you out of the road. Is anything else damaged to you? Do you, it's just your leg. Okay, cool. Let's get you out of the road. Let's get you onto safety and let's do an assessment over there. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Somebody else get his bike. Let's get out of the road. Let's go. Simple as that. Simple as that. But then we're going to sit here 
let our buddy be in the, as you can tell, I'm getting a little, little agitated on this. Our, our friend, the person we ride with, our crewmate, the DDFM crew member, possibly, is in the middle of the road with a broken leg, can't extricate themselves from the situation, and everyone's just kind of... Get his bike out the road! Get his bike out the road! They just care about getting the bike. Get him! Get up, Day-Day. Get up, bro. Man, what the fuck happened? They just ran into each other right here. Ooh. Boogie and bro. Help him out! They just both ran into... Yes, bro. What do you think? What do you think the priority here is? These aren't people I want to ride with. I don't care about footage. I don't care. I mean, I didn't catch it, but only and they're still doing nothing. Go over there and help them out. How the f that shit even happen? And then who's this guy? I don't know. I just saw him on the ground. Keep your mask on though, bro. It's a hot day. Your legs straight. Hey. Then you broke. Let's, yeah, let's, let's lean down right there. Come on, go over there. It's broken. So this is where we do the assessment. We're going to do our assessment. We're, we're going to look at his leg. We're going to palpate. We're going to do everything we possibly can. Make sure there's no major bleeds. He's already talking, so he's an airway. He's breathing. Um, you know, he's got the weird half helmet thing. So thankfully, nothing damaged to his face. But his leg, his leg, so left leg. So he was probably turning left. Everybody, let's just do a quick little assessment because we're thinking about mechanism of injury right here. He was probably turning left. This is probably him trying to do this, right? And his buddy probably collided into him. So his left leg, he's turning left. Boom, gets hit with the front tire, front fender, something. Snap. Snap his tib fib. That's probably what happened. It's not good. Rescue another rider. It's ridiculous. And then he's going to realize, right now, it's probably just like a hairline fracture. And this is why I don't want you guys getting somebody up and walking on a broken leg or, or doing anything when they've been in an accident. Just made it worse. It's going to realize the hairline fracture it probably snapped a little bit. Right here. A little bit of weight on it, snapped it. I'm sorry, guys. It's just, it's, you know, treating people. I'll shut up now. All right, moving on. My first motorcycle crash. Now, remember, this is nighttime. Hard to see. Oh, got to pay attention to the road markings. Hard to see at night. So please do not outride your headlight. Okay, do not outride your headlight. So here we go. We're going through here. There's that sick or the, the road marking. It's a right turn only. It's hard to see. Maybe we weren't paying attention. Maybe it's really late at night. We were getting off work. We're just exhausted. We're white stage. We didn't see that. Um, we just think it's, you know, for up at the light because you see the lights way up ahead. So maybe we're just like, you know, we're not putting two and two together. It's where we have to be very cognizant and be in that yellow stage. You know, you're not white stage where you're zoned out, but in yellow stage. Uh, and then we're going to hit this. This is why I don't like medians too. I don't like medians. I hate medians. We're going to impact, and we're going to have a bad day. Okay? Very high impact. Definitely damaged the bike. But then we're going to crash, and we're going to slide across the ground. So this is why having motorcycle gear, having motorcycle gear, and then at the same time, having, having some type of insurance that will protect your bike for these types of mistakes. Okay? So we can't see it because we're not being situationally aware. We don't have any time or any wherewithal to use any of our fundamental skills like emergency braking or swerving. So the only thing we really have is our acquired and utilized personal protective equipment and to protect ourselves with that and then to protect the bike, maybe replace the bike with good insurance. That's all we can do in this situation. If you don't want to be able to, if you don't want to use your gear or insurance, make sure you're paying attention. That's pretty much it. Make sure you're paying attention. Never saw it. Never slowed down. He was going 47 to 44. Never saw it. That's what it is. Show of hands in the comments if you have crashed your motorcycle or ever had to deal with motorcycle insurance, go ahead and write it down. For those of you that don't even have motorcycle insurance or you're looking to possibly get a better deal, Progressive is sponsoring this video and wanted me to talk to you about how easy it is to get a quote. So I decided to go ahead and get one myself, and it took me less than three minutes to do the whole process absolutely free. Got an email with the quote, and now I'm working through the process there. 
Go ahead and do it. Links in the description. Very quick, very easy. I'll see you in the video. Here we go. So Nomad, he was in the chat. Or if you're still in here, please say something. Speed can be dangerous and dependent on the attention of other drivers. And we clipped him. So he hit his little engine guard. So you see one on this side looking straight, that side looking a little bent. It's an Indian scout, by the way, using the rock form mount with the coupon code linked in the chat and linked in the description. See, it's all bent right there. Woo! Got some customization. I love, I love this green, by the way. So it's an Indian scout. It's an Indian scout. He's doing, he's, he's doing good with his stuff. So what I said prior to all this is, yes, he was going a little too fast because if you notice, the vehicles on the right are stopped. So we could go a little bit slower than we are uh, just so we can actually maintain a good total stopping distance. So we're going through here. This is going through here. Now, if you notice, it's a, it's a double line. We're in California, so it's a, dollar, or a double solid line. So nobody's supposed to go from one side to the other. Only speeding at this speed. Now, you notice all the traffic blocked up here. Now, what happened to the double solid? It changed to a slotted, it changed to, uh, yeah, no, Nomad's still here. So we kind of talked about this before the stream. Uh, so now people can switch lanes. So he didn't recognize that, so take a look right here. So we're just kind of relaxing. And then look at that right hand. It's gonna roll off the throttle, reach for the front brake. And we got our left hand reaching for the clutch. So this is the moment we reacted. We already perceived we're reacting right here, okay? And we're trying to brake, trying to brake, trying to brake, and we can't brake in time. Now, that's a lot of distance to be able to brake in, but think about it. We're going 70 miles per hour, so we wouldn't be able to brake in time. We just need another 20 feet. Please, just give me another 20 feet. We could have stopped in time, but we didn't. So he did as best he could, aimed for a spot he could hit, and by hit, I mean avoid. Right, April? Welcome to the crew, baby. So we're going to impact that right side. So I'm concerned about the right knee. So no, are, did, did you get any injuries? So we, I'm worried about the right side. You see the bending of the bar. And then I'm worried about his right hand. But we got the Indian Scout doing pretty good. We avoided colliding right into the back of it. Could have been way worse. Uh, we did what we possibly could. And what I told him at before the stream was that uh, I was... There's not much you could do in that situation other than slow it down a little bit because of the way the traffic was. How uh, it's all stopped and see how fast we're passing everybody. This is the best example of how lane speeding at this speed can be dangerous. If we could just slow it down, we would have had for the drivers. less total stopping distance, meaning we would have been able to stop it. That's what that look that's what that I means. Jeez, I can't speak. But I'm glad he's doing fine. Crew member right here, by the way. Good job. Here we go. 135 flyby intersection. It's a corner. Slow down, please. Please, please. Don't low side. Don't low side. Ooh, lost a little traction. Woo wee. Lost a little traction on that. I don't know why we're going 90 towards the end, though. Oh my gosh. So he's going to lose a little traction. We're going 73 miles per hour coming up to here. Maybe slowing it down to 60. Maybe a little, yeah, 60, but we're accelerating. Now take a quick look how it jostles. What that looks like or what it feels like is that rear tire falling out. Rear tire falls out right here. That rear tire started sliding out, but then regained traction. So it's a little jumpy jump. And he was able to maintain it, luckily. Some people panic, so he did a good job maintaining this. But now take a look at the speed. So we're going 55, and we're just like, screw it. Let's go ahead and make it worse. Looks like we started getting a little speed wobbles. You guys see that? Once we hit 90. I'm telling you, that, that's not him playing around. That's not him playing around. Dude, you're going to kill yourself. You're going ki to kill yourself, dude. Even with a steering dampener. You're going to kill yourself. Please stop. Get some help. Here we go. Riding around the side of the vehicle. Good job on the swerve. Saw that ahead of time. Right, Tanner? Right, Tanner? 
Get the gear. Deer freaking suck. Exactly, dude. Whew. Real briefly, take a look at this. I have a feeling that this rider was anticipating this. Because remember, perception, reaction, and then total stopping distance, or what I like to now call it, uh, decision distance. Okay? So right here, he's going to anticipate that. And you're going to see him start to swerve even before the vehicle really creeps out. So let's go a little bit slower. Maybe my eyes were deceiving me, but watch him swerve a little bit before the vehicle even creeps out. He anticipated it, made it happen. Okay, now start to creep out. So maybe around the same exact time. It was so quick, it was at the same time. So quick. He's in orange stage, definitely. Soon as it just started, soon as it, soon as it started. Definitely an orange stage. Exactly, Gator. One more time, and we're going to play through it. This is what orange stage looks like and being prepped and ready. Got out of it. Going to orange stage in intersections, especially when you see side of the vehicle. Great job. Great job. Here we go. Moving on with this anonymous rider. Lucky since he would have had no chance of reacting at this. Going a little fast. Going a little. Oh, shite. Oh. 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 my God. Oh. Check your pantalones on that one over here, buddy. You can't do much with deer, everybody. Oh it's it's it. Deer are so un unpredictable animals and little kids he would have had animals and little kids and this speed i'll see if i can hit it all right i hit, I hit pause that's what i'm trying to say uh deer and and uh and kids are so unpredictable so if you have the best situation awareness you have the best fundamental skills uh you know how to rescue another rider and you're probably an instructor it doesn't matter if you hit one of these things because they're going to come out and get you so what you need to have is the A portion of Smart Rider Principles, acquire and utilize personal protective equipment. That's the biggest thing here. That's the biggest thing. Also, get yourself a motorcycle quote, you know, a motorcycle insurance quote, because you got to protect the motorcycle also. So right here, if you hit something, doesn't matter how good you are, you can't predict that. You can kind of work it out a little bit, but you need gear to protect you, and you need something to protect your motorcycle. Got super lucky. Woo! But you can't throw a kid on the barbecue. Mark! Mark, what are you talking about, Mark? You weirdo. But you're right. Because that would be homicide. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, we do this every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel at 3 p.m. Mountain Standard Time live. So make sure you check that out. But if you want to check out some other things like this video right here, or this video right here, please do so. It supports the channel. Click that like button, by the way. Check into class. Anyways, I'll be seeing you around.